It's me. I just recorded an hour and a half of video from this lovely game here that had no audio. Because I don't know how to use OBS. This is Chernobylite. A lovely semi-open world post-apocalyptic game that takes place in Russia. And, uh... Yeah, let's get into it. I'll sum up the entirety of the last hour and a half of footage that was lost real quick. In short, we are a pretty smart researcher. We were here in the area of Chernobyl when the reactor blew. Our wife that day went missing, and some way, somehow, we made this fancy looking gun with some uh, substance called Chernobylite. And it literally opens up a fucking portal. So we can just travel to and from areas as we wish. We broke into a place, uh, into Chernobyl, in order to do something, in order to get Chernobylite to, well, charge the gun. And I think he's wanting to try and find his wife using the gun. I don't quite know how. It's very cryptic. But there was a dude in a gas mask who shot him in the arm killed another buddy of ours and was talking like he knew us we have our lovely base here in which we're growing herbs and mushrooms uh, what the hell is that down there this thing I'm gonna assume it's a grill I forget what it is a generator air purifier thingy and a bed my man's who I hope is up there. Yeah, here he is. He injured. Igor, I need a minute. What's up? What's going on? Something's up. NAR is being really active on the radio. They're looking for someone, supposedly a traitor and a thief. Me? I managed to pinpoint the location. It's Kopachi, the mm. village near the Pripyat River. This could be our ticket into the power plant. This person might know something important or have access to useful gear. What do you think he could know? Passwords, credentials, uniforms, even rations. And it should be a fairly straightforward mission. If you're smart and fast, you won't even have to mix it up with NAR. You're right. This could be important. We should at least have a friendly chat with this so-called traitor. I'm glad you see my point. It's in Kopachi. You can't miss it. I say we get on with this. This is supposed to be a team that... Yeah, I think they got dead. Um, this is supposed to be a team. We're supposed to be going into a heist in that mission. Um, but for now, I say we just get started and go into one of these missions. Weather changes every day. Rain commuter noises. Fog obscures on sight. Use it to your advantage. Gotcha. We can send him on a mission as well. Apparently, he's doing great. I don't know. Um, supply drop, food drop, medicine drop. I want you, brother. Oh, he's at 20%. So he's not doing good. Then you shall stay at your base. I medicine. I don't really need munition. I won't bother with Kopachi just yet. Real quick, I'm gonna go to the Moscow Eye and read some medicine. I need that stuff too. So hopefully we can find some of that. Maybe get maybe I'll go on another mission to get some food. Um and hopefully I won't run out of ammo. But mostly, I think, mostly, uh, I'm going to try and go on the storyline without wasting too much time, because I think those other missions are just a constant thing. I feel like we'll grow our base as we go, without me needing to trick out my ride a bunch. But if you want me to... Do that... Fucking Jesus! Of 
cool. I didn't even see that guy, I just heard the little cue. Brother, you better not be real. That's what I thought. Okay, turn the light. This game is beautiful, but it... They do... The whole horror element, the whole... You know something's out there, you just don't see it. The whole feeling of being stalked so well. It's terrifying, but it's super intriguing. I can hear the smoke. How do you see me? Oh, I guess I'm standing up right in front of him and stabbing his buddy in the chest, huh? Run! Did my man not even care? Yo, if you don't care, uh, I, don't, I don't care. Okay, he's right here. Yeah, you check out that very suspicious fence, pal. <laughs> My psyche is going down because I'm stabbing soldiers. I guess it's an inter interesting dynamic, but also these soldiers won't exactly give a shit about me about stabbing me. So. Just the two. Yes, it was. Oh, fuck, there is more. Holy shit, there's a lot ahead of us. Wonder what the quartermaster made for dinner tonight. Hope oh, it's not more fish. I hate fish. The fish is good, you don't have good fish. No, no, it's fine. It was just a rain. Very hard rain. Very hard rain. Very, very, yeah. Pretty rough rain. So since I have very low psyche, does that mean something for my actual health? I, I can talk to a... Do I don't like this. Shut the fuck up. I'll shoot your ass. Uh, hmm. I must be tired. This doll isn't really talking, is it? You're making a big mistake. Why did you come here? Watch out for him. He can do you serious harm. You will only find pain here. Vent or challenge? Oh, vent. Shut up! Just shut up! He is coming, Igor. He's close. I have a gun. Shut that door.
Das ist eri. Oh, wrong button. I scared myself there. Where did that man go? It's not good me exposing myself like this. Oh. I am the silent soldier. Ready to pay peekaboo at any moment. <laughs> yeah, sorry, guy. You just shot at me, too, so I don't feel too terribly sorry. Oh, healing cell? That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Hmm. Yo, my guy. Stop right there! You're on Prippy and Bradford term now! I'm... what? Where? Bradford! Prippy and Bradford! You must be new here, huh? A tourist? What's your name? Yeah, I'm a tourist. My name is Igor. What's going on? Bradford runs this place, that's what's going on. Prippy at Bradford. And you will obey the rules, Igor the tourist. Uh, what is this? Bradford? Bradford is Sasha, Grisha, Oleg, Vova, and Aloysia. And Evgeny. Interesting. And where are all these guys? Well, let me think. Uh, Sasha got arrested, Grisha was shot, uh, Oleg fell to his death, Vova drowned, Aloysia overdosed, only Evgeny is left. And I take it that Yevgeny is you? Evgeny is me. I'm the last man standing. I'm the Pripyat Brat for now. I made the rules, you got it, tourist? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. You make the rules. Good. I like you already. Just remember the number one rule. Don't fuck with us. Nobody fucks with Bratva, tourist or no. You know, you listen pretty well. I've decided to let you join our gang. You can be my second in command. Oh, it's an honor. Thank you. You yes, mentioned sure. something about trade. What kind of things do you have? I don't know. <laughs> what do you mean, you don't know? Ah, I sell boxes of loot. I never open them, so I don't know what's in them. Well, that doesn't make any sense. Each box is totally random? Ah, my loot boxes are like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're gonna get. <laughs> That's deep. I know. Ksenia told me I was the biggest facilitator in our neighborhood. It's very simple. One food ration for one box of loot. Damn. One box a day. Damn. Igor, we just met, but I feel like I've known you for years. You're like a brother to me now. Have a free box of loot on me. But don't tell anyone. It's a secret. A Bradford secret. Evgeny, I can hug you. You lovely bastard. You can help me, friend. I'm looking for a woman. Her name's Tatyana Amelieva. Tatiana? Ah, a beautiful name. She sounds like a beautiful woman. Tell me, you have some photos? Uh, uh no. No, I, I had one, but... Uh... Uh, too bad. I've never heard of her. She's your woman, right? <laughs> ah, love. I was in love once. Ksenia. Oh, what a woman she was. She promised to cut my balls off if I ever betrayed her. 
And did she? What a funny guy you are. <laughs> I already like you. Nah, she didn't. She dumped me. But she said I was too smart for her. Uh, so, uh, anything interesting going on around here lately? Well, there's something fishy happening in the power plant. Those NAR fuckers have been running around like crazy lately. And there's this creepy fuck with a black mask hunting for something. Whatever it is, it's bad for business. He leaves me alone, but he scares my customers. So you do have other customers? What did I just say? That fucker's been scaring him away. If it wasn't for him, this place would be busier than the Ismolovsky market. I better be going now. Bradfa forever, Igor! Bratva forever, Evgeny. That's awful nice of him. Give me another box of loot. Can I open it now? It's a big ass box of loot. What did you give me? Just a first. Oh, fuck yes! My man needs a first aid kit. I got him. Alright, yeah, so those, those places are already searched. This man right here is good. I'll check these other two places, then we'll hit up the main objective. This game is so pretty too. Why did I in here? I want to say I have. If that was supposed to mess with my psyche, I can tell you right now, that's the least scary thing that's happened in this game. Hey, hey, please! Oh, hey, dude, what's up? You alive? Hey. No, oh, that's damn. good. I was sure I was a goner. Thank you. Maybe be more careful from now on, hmm? I will. Listen, I'll remember your face. Uh, hopefully I can return the favor one day. Yeah. But I can help. I don't want to hurt you guys. Maybe be more... I will. Okay. want to make sure there wasn't any more dialogue. Good, I'm glad I could help you. I just know that if I don't take you guys out, you're going to take me out, so... Them's kind of the rules. Okay, even I understand this is like a dilapidated building and that everything around me is ready to fall apart that hinges and that my Hey, who's that? Why are you loitering here? Easy. I'm just looking for some parts. What? Speak louder. I'm looking for some parts. Stop yelling. It's not safe here. Cool. Why isn't it safe? What kind of question is that? NKVD, of course. NKVD? The secret Soviet police? These bastards came around here snooping. They arrested my sister-in-law for being a kulak. And she only has two cows. Two fucking cows, goddammit. The NKVD doesn't exist anymore. You don't need to worry about them. Yes, yes. Yes, your is a piece of shit. His goons are persecuting everyone. Even decorated war heroes like myself. Duh. Oh, my. What? You've got to speak louder, lad. My hearing is not so good anymore after some fritz threw a grenade into my bunker. Uh, do... do you have anything to trade? Perhaps some parts? Why didn't you ask sooner? Of course I do. I'll trade you junk for some bullets. I need to arm myself in case the NKVD comes back. 
Did you find anything really valuable? Take a look, son. Okay, gas mask. Ten rifle bullets. Primitive armor. Or shotgun shells. Oh wait, it takes out of that too? A gas mask seems good. Not a plate. I don't fucking know what the hell that's about. Uh, I don't think I need a metal plate, at least not right now. I got one of my inventory apparently, and two stored. I'll take some primitive armor, and I'll take that gas mask. I'd well, like scrap. to exchange a bullet for some scrap. Five chemicals for four rifle bullets, which I guess I don't have five. Okay, no, that's, that's fine. Shotgun slug for five flammable. That's uh, I'll do that. Five mechanical parts, two roller bullets. You bet your ass. Actually, tell you what, this is like right here. Oh, lockpick. Never mind. Hey, give any or Evgeny. You want to see some crazy shit? Watch me disappear like you're having a crap dream. I've seen this earlier. What is this? Ariadna. My life's work. Still a prototype, but it will recreate any event from the past if you feed it the right data. <laughs> Glad I didn't let those Brits destroy it. It will help me find Tatiana. Just like in the myth of Tessius, Ariadna's thread will lead me to the truth. Hopefully. Hmm. Tessius, is that Greece mythology? Interesting. Anybody there? <laughs> hey! Answer the radio for once, you cocksuckers! This is fucking important! Come on! Don't leave me standing here with my dick in my hand! Who is this? Who is this? Are you retarded? It's your fucking landlord, scrote! By the way, how are you enjoying your stay, Mr. Kimenyuk? Mikhail, I'm in the middle of something. Glad you like the place. I hope you leave it in the same pristine condition you found it. You got a real bargain, you know. But now we need to talk business. Anton and Olivier around? Anton is... he was killed. Oh my, uh, what a pity. Yeah, he was such a nice guy. Yeah, perhaps too fucking nice. Yep, I'd bet my last cigarette that's what got him killed. I don't think so. What do you want, Mikhail? I need you to return the favor and help me wipe the NAR database. And before you start bitching about it, I know you're not that kind of scientist. I'll walk you through the whole thing. Yeah, I should yeah. use any opportunity I get to hurt NAR. Okay, I'll do it. That's my brave lad. Head to the building in the Duca complex. I'll be in touch. All right. I overheard your conversation with Mikhail. Don't tell me you're actually going. Mikhail is a bit off, but he's not wrong about crippling NAR. It could buy us some time. He sounds like a sociopath. Do you trust him? Not at all. No, but that doesn't mean I'm not going to deal with him. We only need him because of this warehouse. Right now, he looks more like a liability than an asset. On the other hand, you might discover something important. I don't know. Nah, it's too risky. You should ignore him. I think I'm going to go along on this one thing and see how it goes. I strongly advise against that. I know his type. He probably eats his Wheaties with cocaine in the morning. Thank you for those wise words of wisdom. Let's table this discussion for now. Has a little frosted flakes with his Wheaties. All right, Igor, what's next? Uh... 
Hello, fellow oh, prospector. Hi. I'm looking for someone. A tall, hunched man with long brown hair. Maybe you've seen him. No, I'm sorry. What's this all about? I'm looking for my brother, Athanasius. He vanished without a trace a while back. I've been looking everywhere. Do you have any... hotter stuff? I thought you would never ask. Hmm. One lockpick for two food rations. Tactical armor for four. Servant plate for one. No, he wants food What have you rations. both been doing here anyway? The zone's a dangerous place. Well, don't expect me to reveal our trade secrets, but... Well, let's just say there are many unclaimed riches still here in Pripyat. Really? Like what? You've got a nice aura. I'll let you discover that for yourself. I've got a nice what? <sighs> Never mind. I'm looking for someone as well. I'll keep an eye out for your brother. Thank you, my good sir. May Lady Luck smile upon your prospecting. Safe travels, my friend. Oh, and take this. Perhaps it will come in handy. I could kiss you. Right on the gas mask. I don't know that I want to waste it there. Oh, we'll come back to that. I love the fucking forest that they have going here. Like, look at that. Oh, it's so pretty. Look sharp, this asshole's gotta be around here somewhere. Eyes open. I don't need any more shit from Kozlov. I know, I know, damn Samishels. Nothing but thieves, drifters, and lunatics. Why lunatics? What sane person would choose to live in this irradiated wilderness? We asked them nicely to leave, yet they're still fucking resisting. Hey, you're right. I wouldn't be here either, but they pay better than the army. They must be looking for our mystery guy. Yeah, you look like resources, so... I didn't kill you either. Quiet lane, calm you choked you up. I mean, that's just natural selection. I mean, I didn't know more about it. All like that right there. You're lucky I did that. Ah, this is where we're supposed to go. Hey, don't hurt me! I'm I'm unarmed. Hands where I can see them. I take it you're the traitor everyone's so anxious to find. What? Where did you get that? I know traitor. I was never even with the NAR. You'll have to be a lot more convincing than that. Those spooks really want to find you. Your face is all over the radio. All right, all right. I, I used to trade with some of the grunts sometimes. But those knuckleheads got confused about how trading works. They tried to rip me off, and... And what? One thing led to another, and you understand. I, I took a few little items to balance the account. Obviously, they didn't want the brass to find out about their little side hustle, so they cooked up this yarn about a trader. Interesting. Yeah, but not nearly as interesting as you, my friend. You're new to the zone, right? You've been staying in the Kyle's warehouse. I wonder what you're up to. How did you know that? I need to go now. They're probably worried about me. Who's they? Sorry, I can't tell you that. Please step aside. I'm going now. Uh, no, you're not. We have no idea who this guy is, Igor. If we turn him loose, he could run straight back to NAR and trade our lives for their forgiveness or some other kind of deal. Don't you even think about letting him go, at least not before combing through his stuff. That's what I was thinking too. Sorry, but I don't like your story. Why don't you tell me who you really are? And let's take a little look-see in your bag while we're at it. Who I am is none of your bloody business, and I'm not showing you shit. 
and we're both in a tough spot here. Maybe you're just a hustler, or maybe you're a spy. I can't just let you walk away. Yeah, looks like we're in a bind, all right. Ball's in your court, asshole. Guess that one was a colossal fucking waste of time. Great. Oh yeah, until I shoot him now. Q open. Another revolver. Alright, guess we'll return home. Next mission though. So might as well try some shit like that. They're dead. Off of them. Uh, what? Whoa. You need to understand, it wasn't my decision to shut down Ariadna. I don't blame you, Grace, but I still think it's a mistake. It's so much more than Pandora. It allows us to step into the realm of human memories and thoughts, into the real world. What can I tell you, Eagle? The board decided it wasn't financially viable. It was too outlandish. Hmm. Ah, the fools! Every object is a natural dosimeter. Everything absorbs radioactive particles throughout its life, thus creating an echo in time and space. Ariadna can recreate this echo in a fractal VR simulation. There's nothing outlandish about it. Look, I get it. I do. It's your life's work. But just think about it. The process requires an unbelievable amount of power. It's impractical at this stage. What about those nuclear nano-diamond batteries that use the graphite from recycled radioactive waste? That's just another project right now, Igor. I still don't think it would be enough. For Ariadna to work, you need a power source that doesn't exist yet. Perhaps one that cannot be found on Earth. But... I'm sorry, Igor. It's over. You need to accept it and move on. Power source like Chernobylite? Fuck the board. I'm not yeah. going to let anyone destroy my work. No. Wake up. Wake up, Igor. Tanya? Is this a dream? I'm waiting for you, my love. Find me. Hurry. I don't have much time left. I'm trying, Tanya. I really am. I need to look at my board. The first clue. When I find more, I can feed the data to Ariadna and see what really happened to Tanya. So how do you know anything about Agent Splinter having anything to do with your wife? Tatiana vanished for the Chernobyl disaster, so it apparent her disappearance had nothing to do with the evacuation that followed the incident. What happened to her? Who was involved? Well, it clearly, apparently, Agent Splinter. Connecting intelligence activities in Pripyats. Note to self. Focus on finding more clues. Roger that, Rhino One. Proceed as ordered. The area is clear. Do you copy? Leave it Charlie, Bluebird. We'll get to the target ASAP. Over and out. Posing as the enemy, you're playing a dangerous game, Olivier. I know what I'm doing. I've learned their code names and routines. Knowing your enemy is essential. Sneaky. Clever. We need to get the upper hand over NAR whenever we can. Agreed. I wasn't trained in cracking codes, but I know how to crack people. And this radio works perfectly with NAR encryption. I discovered something that may be of interest to you, Igor. NAR is sending a team out to locate some old KGB documents. Could be related to what you're looking for. Sounds like a long shot, but it must be important if they're sending a squad, right? My thoughts exactly. Also, it looks like there's an old Soviet installation beneath the Emerald Resort. I know the place. Young pioneers used to have their summer camps there and play games. Yeah, and the KGB was playing a different sort of game just beneath them underground i'll check it out anything that might get me info on tachana is worth a try just uh keep your feet on the ground okay 
Good luck, Igor. I think for now that is where I'm going to call it. I hope you enjoyed what I will call episode one of Chernobyl. Anyway, have a great day, y'all, and I will see you next time.